bear with me with this video. It's going to be a little bit longer because we're going to look at three different types of substitutions that can be made to solve different types of differential equations. So in some types of differential equations, you can make the substitution x equals vy, or you can make the substitution y equals ux. It's not really clear which one is going to work. You might have to try both of them. One class of differential equations where this type of substitution might be helpful are the homogeneous differential equations. Now, we use this word homogeneous a lot. So in this case, it has a very specific definition uh, with respect to homogeneous functions of two variables. So we say that a function f is homogeneous of degree alpha if, if we replace in the formula for x, if we replace, I'm sorry, in the formula for f, if we replace x with tx, if we replace y with ty, we'll be able to factor out a t to the power of some alpha. And what is inside the parentheses will be the original formula for f. And let's see an example to make that clear. So our function f has the formula x cubed plus y cubed. If I replace x with tx, I replace y with ty, I get t cubed x cubed plus t cubed y cubed. There's a common factor of t cubed. And after I factor out the t cubed, what's left inside the parentheses is the same as the original formula for f. So that's why we would say that this is a homogeneous function of degree three, because I can factor out a t cubed. Now, if I have a differential equation written in differential form, and both the m function and the n function are homogeneous with the same degree, we say the differential equation is homogeneous. So for example, let's solve this uh, differential equation. And let's check to make sure that both m and n are homogeneous functions of the same degree. So uh, for m, after I replace x with uh, tx, a little typo here, should be a comma there, then I'll have tx squared plus ty squared, factor out the t squared, and I see that m is homogeneous of degree two. Let's do the same kind of work with n. And again, I can factor out a t squared. And what's left inside is the original formula for n. So n is also homogeneous of degree two. So we have a homogeneous differential equation. OK, great. Well, what does that mean? It means that we can make one of our substitutions. So let's go ahead and try y equals ux. Now, just when, just like in single variable calculus, where uh, when you make a u substitution, you also have to make a substitution for the differential. So here I'm going to replace y. So I'm going to have to replace it dy as well. But the differential dy is going to have two terms because I have to use the product rule. Both u and x are functions. So I'll have to replace it with x du plus u dx. So let's go ahead and make those substitutions in the place of y in both the m equation and the n equation. I'll replace y with ux. And then I'll also replace the dy with these two terms, x du plus u dx. So I'm going to uh, do some algebra here 
to rearrange. So I have a function times du and a new function times dx. See, there's going to be additional terms uh, from this multiplication by u dx. Uh, so now after I've done that algebra, I can see that I can do a simplification. I have a u squared x squared from the original. And then this new multiplication gives me a minus u squared x squared. So if I remove that, I've got a simpler differential equation written in differential form. I'm going to rewrite this uh, so that I can use separation of variables to solve it. There may be other ways to solve it, but we're going to use separation of variables. So first, uh, again, just some algebraic manipulations. And so now I've got something where I can use separation of variables. I just have dx over my x terms. All of my u terms are multiplied by du. And so now what's left is to integrate on both sides. So here's uh, the way I'm going to integrate the u minus 1 over u plus 1 is uh, I'm going to rewrite that. You could use, the, for example, uh, long division to rewrite that as 1 minus 2 over u plus 1. When I integrate both sides, then I get u minus 2 natural log absolute value of u plus 1 equals the natural log the absolute value of x plus a constant c1. So from now on, I, I just have to do uh, some cleanup, use the properties of logs like I've done in the past. And uh, before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and make the substitution. I have to tell you that there is no hard and fast rule as to when you should uh, replace uh, your original variables here. Um, sometimes you want to do a lot of the algebra first and then uh, do the substitution. And other times you may do it early on as we're doing it here. When I do that, I certainly would like to clean this up. One thing that will help me is to replace the C1 with the natural log of a different constant, C2. I can always do that. So I can use a property of logs and I could combine the natural log of the absolute value of x with the natural log of C2 into a single log expression. And then if I bring this natural log of x, sorry, y over x plus 1 squared onto the right hand side. Continue using some uh, algebra here. I'll write that as a the single fraction. Use some properties of logs and some further simplification. Now, to get rid of the natural log, I'll exponentiate both sides. And then finally, what I might do is uh, multiply by x over c2. And then I'll replace the 1 over c2 with a new constant c. And so here is an explicit solution to the differential equation. Um, there is, again, some question as to how many of these uh, simplifying steps you need to make. But I just wanted to show you, um, you know, for example, uh, this original equation here would be uh, probably a very good acceptable solution. Uh, but you may see solutions in the book or elsewhere where they've made these uh, algebraic steps. And so it's good to see and understand how you can go from, say, for example, this type of solution, or indeed this type of solution to the final solution here. So let's do another example. Let's do a quick verification by first writing this in 
differential form so we can verify that we have a homogeneous differential equation. And a quick check says that M is homogeneous of degree one and N is also homogeneous of degree one. Uh, so we have a homogeneous DE. Again, it's not clear what substitution will work. Sometimes both will work. I'm gonna go ahead and use X equals VY. I'll have to replace the DX. And in order to calculate the expression for DX, I need the product rule again. So go ahead and replace in both M and N, I'll replace X with VY. So then I'll have a minus three VY in the N function. I'll replace DX with this sum Y DV plus V DY, of course, in parentheses. Now I have to do some algebra, so I'll multiply things out and write it as one function times dv plus another function times dy. I can see in the dy, again, I have two terms which add to make zero. So that simplifies. As in example one, I'm going to use separation of variables to try to solve this. So I'll go ahead and rewrite the equation in a way where I'm ready to use separation of variables. So that's where we are now. We're ready to integrate both sides. To integrate v plus 3 over 1 minus v squared, I'll use partial fractions. And so here are some of the details there. So I, when I integrate both sides, on the left-hand side, I get natural log of the absolute value of y. And then I'll need to integrate this partial fractions decomposition. And I'll use the property of logs to bring that together. I'll change the C1 as the natural log of a different constant C2. And use the properties of logs to bring that together. And then exponentiate both sides. And that gives me y equals plus or minus c2 because of the absolute value signs. But I can replace plus or minus c2 with a new constant. And I'm going to go ahead and replace at this point v equals x over y. And I'll do, I'm going to simplify this. And this is what I'm going to require. I would not accept this as an answer. Uh, you should be able to simplify this type of expression by the time you get to differential equations. And so I'm going to write top and bottom as a single fraction and then simplify that. And that's a pretty good uh, expression. But notice one thing, that we have y equals c times y times the rest of this. So I could actually divide out by the y. I'm assuming that y is not equal to 0 when I do that. And so that gives me uh, this expression, which I can then rewrite as C times parentheses x plus y equals the quantity x minus y squared. Another type of equation where we can use a different type of substitution is Bernoulli's equation. And it has the following form. It's dy dx plus p of x times y, that looks very familiar, equals some f of x times y to the power of n. And in fact, if n equals zero or n equals one, this is a linear differential equation and we would know how to solve it. We could use an integrating factor or perhaps some other method. But what if n is not equal to zero and it's not equal to one? Well, that's when we can use a substitution. Well, we use u equals y to the power of one minus n. And when we make that substitution, this Bernoulli's equation will reduce to a linear equation. Let's see an example how this works. So I have a differential equation, x dy by dx plus y equals x squared y squared. So this is Bernoulli's equation with n equals two, remember, n is the exponent on the y 
on the right hand side. And so we'll make the substitution u equals y to the power of one minus two. Again, that two is the n value. So u equals y to the negative one power, which means u equals one over y, or y will equal one over u. Now, we also have to replace the dy dx. Well, dy dx is dy du times du dx. So we're going to get a new uh, equation where the dependent variable is going to be u instead of y. So we want to have a du dx. So fine, what is dy du? We can just use our formula for y to find that dy du is negative 1 over u squared. So I'm going to make the following substitution. I'm going to replace y with 1 over u. I am going to replace dy dx with negative 1 over u squared times du dx. And now I've got a new equation where the dependent variable is u. I'm going to do some algebra to clean this up. I'm going to multiply through by negative u squared and divide by x to get this in our standard form. And now I'm going to use an integrating factor. I see that my p of x here is negative 1 over x. So I will start by integrating that. I get negative natural log of the absolute value of x. So my integrating factor is negative natural log of the absolute value of x. Uh, I can make the negative sign a, an exponent x to the negative 1, which would be 1 over x then for our integrating factor. So multiply, uh, and I'll get multiply the right-hand side by 1 over x. I'll get negative 1. The left-hand side is just going to be the derivative of the product u times our integrating factor. So now just anti-differentiate on both sides. I'll get u times 1 over x equals negative x plus c. Go ahead and multiply through by x. And now we want to replace u with 1 over y. And then to get an explicit solution, we're going to take the reciprocal of both sides and get y equals 1 over cx minus x squared. Our final type of substitution only applies when we have a differential equation where we have dy dx by itself on the left-hand side. And on the right-hand side, we have a function of a to x plus by plus c. a, b, and c are all constants, and b can't be equal to 0. And so uh, we'll use the substitution then u equals a times x plus b times y plus c. Now c could be 0, a could be 0, it's just b cannot be 0. So as an example, we have a differential equation dy by dx equals, in parentheses, negative 2x plus y squared minus 7. And so here, our a is negative 2, our b is 1, and our c is 0. The negative 7 is part of the function, but uh, it's not the value for c. Uh, in other words, look, the left-hand side is a function of u. It's f of u equals u squared minus 7, and u is negative 2x plus y. So the negative 7 is part of the f, but it's not part of the ax plus by plus c. All right, so uh, that means I want to replace um, dy by dx with du dx. So go to this equation, u equals negative 2x plus y differentiate with respect to x, I'll get du dx equals negative 2 plus dy dx, which means that uh, dy dx is du dx plus 2. So we're going to replace the negative 2x plus y with u. We're going to replace the dy dx with du dx plus 2. 
which gives me du dx equals u squared minus nine. And we can solve this uh, using separation of variables. And so I'll write it with du over u squared minus nine equals dx. In order to integrate the left-hand side, I'm going to need partial fractions again. And so here's the work for the partial fractions. And we get that a equals negative 1 6, b equals 1 6. So I'll factor out the 1 6 from the integral. And when I integrate the right hand side, I just get x plus a constant c1. When I integrate the left hand side, of course, I'm going to get some log terms. I can use some log properties. And then I can. Uh, Go ahead and exponentiate both sides. So now I've got this absolute value of u minus 3 over u plus 3 raised to the power of 6 equals this exponential expression. So we'll simplify that a little bit using properties of exponents. And then what we'll do is we'll replace this e to the c1 with a function, I'm sorry, with a constant c2. I'll raise both sides to the power of six. I'll get a plus or minus here. Uh, and I'll say, okay, C2 to the power of six, or plus or minus C2 to the power of six, I'll call that C3. And I'm not done yet, but the rest is just algebra. So I'm gonna solve this for U, just using some Algebra starting by multiplying both sides by u plus 3. I'll get all the u terms on one side and factor out the u. All of the other terms are on the other side of the equation. Uh, I'll notice that the other side has a common factor of 3, so I'll go ahead and factor that out. And at this stage, now I've solved for u. I'm going to go ahead and remember that u was negative 2x plus y. So let's replace u with negative 2x plus y and solve for y. And we'll leave it in this form. I don't see any further useful simplifications. So I hope you found uh, these examples and these substitution techniques useful.